you have on a bow tie today for those who cannot see you. And the name of your organization is Bowtie Leadership and Development. And we also mentioned in the intro that you're a founder. So I have a couple of questions in this space. Let's start with how you got to Bowtie. What does that mean? What does it stand for? Yeah, you know, for me, because I was raised in the hood, I, it was not a lot of bow ties was in the hood when I was growing up. But, you know, when I went and started uh, my professional life, it, you know, I'm a, a proud brother of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. And we started, I started to see other black men, physicians and, you know, uh, lawyers and judges, et cetera. And they would all have bow ties on. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, and uh, because I was a necktie guy throughout in the Baptist church who wore neckties. <laughs> Grandma gonna make sure I have my necktie. Black suit, you know? <laughs> gray suit, blue suit, you necktie. Know, except for Easter. Uh, but, uh, but Seriously. Serious sucker. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but uh, but really, this this concept, when I started wearing bow ties, it was just really me to start to wear them. But I noticed something. When I travel around the world, locally and globally, people will stop me and ask me about my necktie. I mean, strangers. People who I probably would never interact with. So it started to become a conversation starter. And then it led to something else. It led to this belief and this philosophy, like, wow, these people are leaning in. They're curious. You know, they're, they're approaching me. I guess I'm approachable. And I started to think about what if we lived in a world where people will approach each other like they approach my neckties in the workplace. So in my research, in my consulting, in my training, I see that it's the most difficult part in these workplaces, in these conversations, and how to work or how to interact with someone that's totally different than you, that's a stranger. And so what I did was I took the bow tie, made it into a little acronym, uh, how I governs my conversations every day. This is how our team manage our work. Uh, I share it with you all. I share it with third graders to Harvard PhD. So um, if you like it, you can apply. Uh, and so the B stands for, and in the conversation, I ask that you be mentally present. So many times that we're physically in the room and mentally absent. And how many of you all know when you're there, trust me, you're mentally absent. So that's rule number one. Ground rule number two is, is the O, open to new ideas. It's gonna be things that you share, Brittany, that I may agree or disagree with and vice versa, but do you come with the level of open to hear, to really hear, um, so I can understand the perspective? Uh, and, I, and I think that's a beautiful thing to do. It takes some vulnerability in the conversation to open yourself up. The next letter is W. W stands willing to engage and share your own perspective while owning your truth. So many times we come into conversations and we take that seat to just listen and we nod and we smile, but you got a story too. Um, so make sure you share your story too and make sure you own your space that you're in and you have something to say. And so when you be present, open and share, the most challenging part of these conversations is what I say the most challenging part of this necktie, which is how do you tie it together? How do you lead this experience better than you came in? And my friend, that's up to you. And that's why this is just a figure, but Botan is a philosophy that everyone can apply to their life. 